from Washington, this is VOA News. I'm Christopher Cruz reporting. A suicide bomb attack has killed at least 19 people and wounded more than 50 in eastern Afghanistan. The attack on Sunday happened in central Jalalabad, capital of Nangarhar province. Soldiers and Taliban rebels were jointly celebrating the last day of Eid. There's been no claim of responsibility yet. The Afghan government ceasefire with the Taliban has been extended. That announcement came from Afghan President Ashraf Ghani on Sunday. The government ceasefire was due to end on Tuesday. President Trump on Sunday renewed his defense of the agreement he reached with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un to denuclearize the Korean peninsula. On Twitter, the president wrote that the agreement already has led to an end to the North's nuclear tests and, quote, rockets flying all over the place. On Father's Day Sunday, a group of Democratic members of Congress from New Jersey and New York met with immigration detainees separated from their children. AP correspondent Julie Walker reports. The lawmakers say they spent more than an hour trying to get into the Elizabeth contract detention facility. Congressman Jerry Nadler says they were eventually able to speak with five ICE detainees who were stopped at the border, separated from their children and sent to New Jersey. We have heard of children being physically pulled from the arms of their parents. The congressman says Democrats will introduce legislation to stop the family separation policy. These are the misdeeds of an administration speaking in our name that appears to lack a moral compass. Nadler says the fathers he spoke with in detention are seeking asylum. I'm Julie Walker. This is VOA News. Suicide bombing Sunday in the northeastern Nigerian state of Borno have killed at least 31 people. The blasts happened in the town of Damboa. The arrival of rescue ships in the Pan Spanish sport port city of Valencia has reignited a battle in Europe over immigration. Reuters correspondent David Doyle reports. Hundreds of migrants pulled from the Mediterranean by a rescue ship arrived at the Spanish port of Valencia on Sunday, bringing a grueling nine-day voyage after they were turned away from Italy and Malta to an end. But what has not ended, indeed has been reignited, is a fierce debate over how Europe handles immigration. Immigrati. Barring the rescue ship Aquarius was a chance for Italy's new government to assert its anti-immigrant credentials. While for new Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez, it was an opportunity to underline a more liberal stance. But what it's also highlighted is the European Union's failure as a whole to agree on how to manage huge numbers of people fleeing poverty and conflict. Reuters correspondent David Doyle, the passengers were greeted by more than 2,300 Red Cross volunteers and other humanitarian workers, including police, doctors and translators. Initial medical examinations showed no serious injuries or illnesses among the refugees. Most of them are adult men and women. Seven of them are pregnant. The others include children and teens. National security concerns are likely to result in Chinese telecom giant Huawei from being blocked, for, uh, being blocked from a major 5G mobile wireless project in Australia. From Sydney, correspondent Phil Mercer reports. Canberra is also hoping to pass foreign interference laws to counter alleged meddling by governments and individuals. The move comes amid rising fears in Australia over the influence of China in its domestic affairs. Earlier this month, media reports detailed allegations allegedly contained in a top-secret document that China had tried to influence Australia's political parties for the past decade, as well as every level of government. In response, Beijing has previously accused Australia of being anti-China. Phil Mercer for VOA News, Sydney. People on Hawaii's Big Island are being warned to stay indoors and keep windows closed after another eruption early Sunday of the Kilauea volcano generated a massive ash plume. Millions of Mexicans are celebrating their national team's long-shot win against Germany in Mexico's first match of the 2018 World Cup soccer tournament. The one to nothing victory has given Mexicans hope that their team might win the tournament for the first time since it began in 1930. You can find more on these and other late-breaking and developing stories from around the world, around the clock, at voanews.com and on the VOA News mobile app. I'm Christopher Cruz, VOA News. That's the latest world news from VOA.